Hey guys, I am at the 2019 Enigmatic Nomadics van build. That used to be called a party. I think he's calling it a fest this year. Um, we got Steampunk Steve over here. We got a lot of friendly faces. Jamie's a bit down there a ways. I've been kind of hanging out here, relaxing. Uh, made a previous video, just kind of updating you guys. I did take that down. Um, I'm not gonna tell you my pre-existing conditions because our lovely uh, healthcare system in this country uh, don't want to uh, things to get out there. But anyways, we're gonna jump into a fun video and just kind of catch up with some people. So a lot of you guys know my friend Badge. Badge and I met at a laundromat down the street and uh, We've been buddies ever since. I think that was about two years ago. So as you can see, I got my outfit on. We're back again. <laughs> Hello. Reunited and it feels so good. It's good to meet you, buddy. Oh, look at that, lots of oil. Uh, Badge today is doing a, a favor for Reed. We're out here helping each other out. The video after this, you're gonna see me helping someone out. Believe it or not, I like to help people out. Uh, we put that together this awesome roof coating for this uh, 71 year old guy So that's gonna be in the next video after this. So please watch that video. It is awesome. It's a great story I was happy to help people out and speaking of people helping each other out the reason for this I'll tell you why is because I think this is really boring But when you get a cinematographer like Jax, he can make it look really exciting So that's <laughs> why I'm getting him to film it so it'll be on his channel. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so what we're doing is changing the oil. We're going to put a new belt in it, a new adjuster. And back in here, if you can see it, this fuel filter's loose. See? Well, you can see there. I can't we're see it. Fix that up. Yep. All right. And, uh, yeah. There we go. Doing. So, um, as you guys know, Badge is a mechanic. Badge knows what he's doing. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I can't really you know, when I first started this, I took one mechanics class in high school and one wood shop in high school and believe it or not I've actually learned quite a bit of stuff I had a coolant leak the other day I fixed that thing myself I didn't know I? when I first met Jax he couldn't fix nothing <laughs> and now I feel you know if the bus goes down on the road I got faith that he'll get it back on the road so yeah it's pretty good it's a good lesson for life you learn you live and yeah, you learn, you learn quite a bit, and really. by the way if you guys I know there's a lot of uh, people asking or previously when we did all these videos, Badge, make a channel, make a channel. So guess what? Yeah, Badge made a channel. channel. What's it well, called? I didn't make a channel. The truth about it is Jack set it up for me and never told me about it when he was in Canada. So I kept getting these subscribers. I said, Jack, what's these subscribers think? He's like, oh, you got a channel. But I didn't tell you. But anyway, Badge, everybody needs one. So we just have fun. We're not monetized, but we have a hoot with it. Yeah, uh, I'll put a link below. Uh, and let's, uh, we'll follow through. If anybody is interested in knowing how to change, would you change the oil and the transmission oil or what? Oh, just the engine. Just the engine oil. Okay. Yeah. So if you guys want to learn how to do an uh, oil change video, we're going to get into that. And then after this, I don't know, four or five minutes of this video, we'll walk around. We'll kind of give you an idea of the larger event going on here, the familiar faces, people, places. Uh, I know some of you guys have been like, where are you at? Uh, just had a little difficulty with some stuff. I'll just leave it at that. But we'll jump back into some things and uh, I've just been kind of thinking about my future here. So who knows what the future holds. We got two of these blue pails. Now it holds about six gallons, but the filter's got about two quarts in it. So what we do is drain. You gotta be very careful not to get it on the ground out of BLM area. That's very important. So what we do is we pour it into these blue uh, rubber maids and then what we do is pour it back in the gallons after I get the engine oil in. So then now we're going to uh, take this out and we're going to poke a hole in the oil filter here instead of drains. It's right up in here. It's hard to see. Oh, that's a pretty good idea to poke a hole in it. Yeah, and then it drains out and then don't get oil all over it. So yeah. And for those of you who saw the bus where, uh, uh, the video where I found Reed's bus, this is a 2010 rebuilt 8.3 liter Cummins engine. He picked this thing up for a steal of a deal um, and uh, had I think like 14,000 miles, 10,000 miles on a rebuilt motor. I told Badge about this thing, he was just salivating. Badge, what do you got here? Where, where, where'd this box come from? Oh, this box, this is, uh, if you know uh, Dean, the 
cool Dean and uh, Navigation Over Michael, they come up to Canada this summer to visit. And uh, they, you know, Michael, they're always got to have something to do. So he says, what do you want to do? I says, oh, I like a little box in the back of my truck. So he ripped it all out, everything. And I says, he said, what do you want? I says, anything that doesn't have a toolbox in it. And they come up with this thing and it works really good. Like I got all the storage there, got the water tank fixed up there, got my solar batteries. And then they put the compressor and the saw and the air conditioning gauges. Yep. These are the air conditioning gauges and jack them on. I just bring them just to make sure. Oh, those ones for the fir from yeah, the yellow bus. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, good idea. Yeah. It's all good. Uh -huh. They're in. They're there all we good. go. And guys, we have Reed here, world famous Reed, with Reed with the award-winning bathroom. Yes. Right. We did win an award. Yes, we did. <laughs> Woohoo! How many uh, Bill, uh, how many jobs have you done so far? Here? Yeah. Well, we uh, didn't have as many cruises last year, but we've uh, we're up to seventy. And Reed is out of pocket here. He came down uh, came down to donate. Uh, he has bought people supplies just out of the kindness of his heart, out of the generosity that he has. I'll do that in mm -hmm. And uh, badges down here too, helping people out. The, the whole event, people are just helping each other out. Uh, wow. And so, like I said, the, the next video, you're gonna be, you're gonna be seeing me helping somebody out. A great guy. So, what do you got there? Get some merch. These are my decals. Oh, yeah. Guys, we also have Nick. If you you've seen him before, the Overland Pirate Van. Hello. Just got a whole great group of guys down here. What, what else yeah. can I say? Black Pearl Trovato. That's the, uh, mm. well, back, that was his think? alter ego. Right down there. Yeah, yeah right, right there. There, there. there you Look go. That, All right. Hey, Chrome, we're getting friends, buddy. <laughs> Look at that. Big hole in a filter with a big, long nail. And then it drains it out so you don't get it all over you. All right. Now, I don't mean to toot my own horn, so don't take this the wrong way. But I get a lot of people coming up to me and saying, hey, man, watch your videos. You're the reason I bought a school bus. So when you guys meet uh, Cameron right here. How's it going? What kind of bus you got? It's an International 2004. It's got the T444E in it. Allison transmission. And you got it down a AAA bus? AAA bus. And go we, see Tony. And we met last year here at the van build. That's right. And now you got your own bus. That's right. Well, what's the plan? You're going to build it out and put your family in it, right? Build it out, put the family in it, hit the road full time. There you go. Yep. All right, let's go have a peek. Getting a uh, oh, PTSD from looking at a bus unfinished. Same, same exact bus. Handicap, nine windows. Ah, it's just so wild to see this. It's got flat floors. No oh, windows. that's nice. You got all these tracks, so. Yeah, I'm getting them out slowly but surely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, familiar, familiar look here. Yeah, but I wiped it all down yesterday to get rid of all the crud. Yeah, this is clean, man. Yeah. Good luck on the build. Thanks, man. It's about a year ago when I was in Denver, the Got Loves and I had a meetup at Reed's place. And what we didn't mention is that there was a really nice guy that came out, drove all the way from Salt Lake City, brought his two dogs. The dogs got loose in the backyard. And unfortunately, the dogs killed about six Reed's chickens. But uh, this really nice guy, Zach, ended up in the meantime buying himself a bus. He's around here somewhere. He's been helping out people as well. Um, but he got himself a bus just like Jamie, uh, Enigmatic Nomadics. He's got his little side-by-side -side thing down here. Honestly, it's just a cool event. Actually, here he comes right now. It's just a really cool event. If anybody wants to join in, pitch in, help somebody in need, come on down here and get a hold of uh, Jamie. But here is Zach right here. How's it going, guys? Also known as the Chicken Killer. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, uh, he's got his uh, bus going on, he's got a similar roof going on, and, and what are you going to do with this thing? Uh, I've been living it almost three months of the day now, and uh, just keep keep traveling. I'll be uh, be down uh, probably in Ehrenberg for a little while, and then uh, hit up Yuma and Work, Mexico. Maybe. And working on the way as, as well, right? Uh, don't. I'm not working right now. I've got a little setup with the solar company that I have where I just uh, take photos of my solar setup, and then they... Uh, you get money for marketing that way. Nice. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I'll probably just uh, get a part-time job here or there as I go through my travels and maybe do what you did and get some <laughs> sponsorships and whatnot along the way. There but, you go. Yeah. There you go. There's there's one of them right there in the window. Perfect. Perfect. So the dream is alive here in uh, Arizona. 
uh, as many ways to figure it out. Uh, instead of throwing all that money away on rent, paying for somebody's country club membership, you know, you can uh, live in a van like Claire Bear, college van life. We'll be seeing Claire Bear here shortly. Uh, she's graduating debt free, uh, working part time job, waitressing, managing, and uh, I'm so envious. I had so much student loans and she's graduating debt free, so I'm really proud of her. Okay, Badge, you got that uh, filter out yet, buddy? Yeah, matter of fact, I do. take the filter out and put the new one in you don't put oil in it because what they're saying is Cummins says that most of the contamination of the oil of the engine is caused by putting oil in the oil filter because the oil going into the filter goes directly into the engine where in the oil pan it goes through the filter right so that's why you don't prime the oil filter I know lots of people will tell you different, but... I, I've been priming mine, but mine it hasn't the broken oil yet. Oil filter, not yeah. the fuel. Oil, yeah. yep. Oh, and by the way, if anybody's buying a bus, international bus, do yourself a favor, get the inline six. It just makes life a little bit easier when you're working on the dang thing. Mine's a pain in the butt. I have the V8. Badge, do you have a uh, favorite kind of oil? No. I, I like synthetic, but if... Uh, Dello and Shell are pretty good for for um, he's a lot of a lot of Dello Chevron. Uh huh. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, you like the Rotella stuff too? Rotella's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. I found with the Petrocan it would go like if you go to the interval like fifteen thousand miles or something it would go and then around the ten or eleven it would start burning oil. So people just added to it. I say we'll change the oil and then it would quit doing that. It just gets weak, right? So get the oil out of the pail is a pain in the butt, but it's got this zipper on it. You pull the zipper off. And then you just lift them off. There you go. You got yourself a pail of oil. <laughs> and you can pour it in really easy. Oh my god, you're gonna pour, pour that it in? All over the engine. Oh my gosh. We got a true professional right here. There you go. Done like supper. Just like done like supper. Oh, where's my maple marshmallows? In the truck. Is that right? Uh, Drew's got one left. Uh -oh. Let me give you one. Uh oh, 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 uh oh. Must be in the trailer. Well, Badge, I, I just want to say thanks for helping me out, for teaching me so much stuff, for uh, converting my bus to run on veggie oil for the hospitality up in Canada, for all the entertainment you've given me and me to everyone else. That's probably the most inter fun. most valuable thing like right I there. Like I said, we did that 10 questions, RV questions the other day. And the thing about it is, it's the people you meet. Yeah, it sure is. It sure is. That is definitely the funnest part of what I've been doing is the characters, the people, and the friendships that yeah. we've made. No. Or not. You know, I was saying, you know, it's kind of funny because you go up, we're only allowed to stay 180 days. So we go back up to Canada and then we come back. It's, oh, how you doing? How's it going? And it's just like, the funny thing about it, when you meet these, what I call they're not nomads, they're just people living their life outside, is that um, they, it's like you've known them all your life. You meet them and it's just like you've known them all your life. It's kind of funny, you know, like yourself and Jim and... You know, it just goes on and on. Dean yeah. and Michael, and look yeah. at Michael and Dean. Yeah. Like we met them, what, two years ago, and now they come to Canada every year. <laughs> so it's, it's crazy. Yeah. You have to be a half an inch over full to fill the filter. Oh shit, you better read the instructions. <laughs> read the instructions, sir. Make sure you get that on right. That's my receipt. <laughs> Well, a year ago. See how black that is? Yep. That's diesel oil. Now the only way to get rid of that, and you can get rid of it, is flush this with, with cheap oil for maybe three oil changes, like, and run it for a day, flush it, run it for a day, flush it, run it for a day, and flush it. That's the only way you can get it. But any diesel, I don't care whose it is, change the oil, 
started up and it looked like that. Guys, a big part of what we do out here at the uh, Van Bill Party and other events is we hang out, we make friends with new people, we're grilling up burgers, courtesy of, well, all of us. Everyone. Um, sitting around the campfire, drinking all sorts of different beverages. There he is. <laughs> and let me show you what we got inside here. We got some familiar faces. So we have Chris from Switzerland. We have some uh, sautéed onions and mushrooms for the burgers, baked beans, aged cheddar, lots of condiments. That's also aged bacon. We don't know if that's safe to eat yet, but we will find out, won't we, bacon lover? I'll try it. 